Bowman here at bw1.com. I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 7 USB drive. This is a pretty useful tool for installing Windows 7 on the PCs. It's definitely faster to install from a USB drive. And for netbooks that don't have a CD or DVD drive inside of them, this is definitely a lot easier to install Windows 7 on them using this. And you're going to save some money too than from buying that external DVD drive. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download and install the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Check the description for the link over at bw1.com where you can find a download over there. And once you have it downloaded and installed, you want to click on the shortcut and it opens up the tool here. And the first step you need to do is choose an ISO file. So you're going to need that uh, Windows 7, if you have it in um, this format, you're going to need that to be in an ISO. And if you're not sure how to create an ISO, check over at Lock Gnome's YouTube channel where I've done a video on ISO Recorder which shows you how to create an ISO file from physical media. So just check that video out. I'll pop up the annotation right here. Click on that, check that out, then head back over here once you have it created, and which we already have one created here, and click Browse, and we already have one which says, which it says Windows 7.ISO. We'll click on that, and that's the one we'll use, and we'll click Next. Now, for some people, at this point when they click next they might get an invalid ISO file error I didn't get that and I've tried different ISO ISO versions of Windows 7 I've, I've, I've recorded it with different recorders and I haven't been able to get the problem to duplicate if you run into that problem I'll definitely have a list of some of the solutions that are available in the description also over at bw1.com with a link to this post so be sure to check that out if you have that issue if a lot of you start to have that issue I'll show you sort of the manual way you can do this through DOS but right now this is the much easier and quicker way to about going about creating this USB key. So the next thing we want to do is click next. It asks us which media you want to use from USB device to DVD. Obviously you want to use USB device here and it's gonna um, pretty much give you a list of USB devices that you can use. Now they say you can use a four gigabyte stick to and to create the key. I tried a couple of different 4 gigabyte sticks and I wasn't able to get it to work. It wouldn't finish the whole way, but I was able to do it with 8 gigabyte flash drives. So in this, I'm using an 8 gigabyte flash drive. And then relatively inexpensive these days. They're about, you know, anywhere from I think from 10 to 30 bucks, 20 bucks or so to get one. Be sure to check, and check the link on the post. I'll, I'll have a list of uh, where you can grab an 8 gig flash drive for pretty cheap if you want to use this. This is definitely a useful tool. So I'm definitely um, looking at getting 8 gigs. It, it just worked for me pretty easily that way. So the next thing we need to do is click on begin copying. And if you have any stuff on it, it's going to warn you ahead of time that it needs to format it and erase it. It's going to give you a couple prompts. So be sure that you know you have all the data that you need off of it because it's going to format it completely. And once it's done formatting, it's going to copy the files over and get it set up to use. So we're going to let this run a little bit and then I'm just going to kind of skip ahead towards the end so you can see the finished product. Okay, as you can see there, we're at 100%. We're complete and all ready to go. It takes roughly about 5 to 10 minutes or so for this to be created, depending on how fast your computer is and how fast your USB drive is. But it's all set, and for uh, proof here, we'll go to uh, the uh, My Windows uh, part of your computer, or computer, and you can see right here where it says Removable Disk Drive and the F Drive. You see the little uh, Windows icon there, and you can see inside there, it's all set and ready to go, and it's set up to be bootable, and you can, be, you can install Windows 7 right from this USB pen drive. Real simple, real easy to do. So um, definitely do that if you're looking for something like that. So this is Bowman here from BW1.com. Ryan, you subscribe to our YouTube page, follow us on Twitter, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.